Look, it's not often that we get a pair of Huawei earbuds in our labs. So when Huawei offered to partner with us to test out their new flagship earbuds, the Freebuds Pro 4, we were curious. How would these new earbuds perform in our labs? And how would these earbuds compare to other flagships like the Apple AirPods Pro 2? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. But before we dive into all of our objective testing data, let's get to know Huawei's latest buds a little bit better. Starting with the design, the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 4 uses a familiar bulb and stem design, similar to other flagships like the AirPods Pro 2 and Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. I did notice that the bulb housing the speaker drivers is a little bigger than the AirPods Pro 2, but for my ears at least, I still found the FreeBuds Pro 4 comfortable enough to wear. The FreeBuds Pro 4 comes with different sized ear tips to help you get the best fit, and Huawei even includes both silicone and memory foam ear tips. Now on the front of the stem, you're gonna find a capacitive touch sensor, which can be used to control the earbuds. You can squeeze the stem to play or pause your music or swipe up and down to adjust volume, similar to controlling earbuds like the AirPods Pro 2. The metal accents are very subtly placed throughout the buds and charging case, which helps give the product a premium feel without being as flashy as something as the Creative Arvana Ace 2. Now, one of the highlights of the FreeBuds Pro 4 is the fact that it comes with Huawei Sound, which is essentially a suite of hardware and software features that Huawei claims should lead to an immersive, high-quality listening experience. But how does this affect sound quality? On the hardware side, the FreeBuds Pro 4 use a dual driver setup in each ear, a traditional 11mm dynamic driver, which typically helps in reproducing bass and mids, and a planar diaphragm driver, which should, in theory, lead to better treble performance than what you'd find in earbuds that use a single driver, such as the AirPods Pro 2. Now, we've actually seen this kind of driver combination before, such as in the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Those earbuds performed very well in our tests, especially when using the clear EQ preset, so we were really interested to see how the FreeBuds Pro 4 stack up. Now, as we do with all earbuds to test the sound quality, we put the FreeBuds Pro 4 on our Berlin QR5128 test head to record the frequency response. Now, the ears in our test fixture are based on the MRI scans of 40 different people, so we feel that the testing head is a good representation of the average listening experience. So how did the FreeBuds Pro 4 perform in our tests? Well, let's take a look. Here we have the frequency response of the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 4 plotted against our industry validated preference curve, which is a measurement of what we think sounds good to most people. Now the general rule of thumb here is that the closer a headphone or earbud measures to our curve, the more likely you are to enjoy how a product sounds. In this case, you can see that the FreeBuds Pro 4 lines up quite closely with our preference curve, which suggests that you'll probably enjoy how these earbuds sound. However, there are some notable deviations. In the sub bass, there is about a five decibel over emphasis between 20 to 60 hertz, which could make sounds like 808s and kick drums sound a bit louder than you're used to. However, if you're somebody who listens to a lot of EDM or hip hop tracks, then you actually might enjoy this sub bass bump. Then again, if you'd rather turn down the bass, you can remedy this by turning down the 60 hertz slider in the equalizer. There's also a bit of underemphasis on the low mids, which means that toms, snares, and pianos played in middle C might sound less detailed, though it's not enough to compromise your listening experience. Though, as I mentioned previously, you could always adjust the sound to your taste using the equalizer. As far as treble reproduction goes, the FreeBuds Pro 4 lines up pretty closely with our target curve, and our measurements even show that the FreeBuds Pro 4 offers a better treble extension than the Air AirPods Pro 2, which is perhaps an advantage afforded by the use of a dual driver setup in Huawei's buds. At the end of the day, sound is subjective and everybody has different tastes, but as far as our measurements are concerned, and considering that the FreeBuds Pro 4 line up pretty closely with our preference curve, then there's a good chance that you're gonna like how these earbuds sound. Like all flagship earbuds on the market, the FreeBuds Pro 4 comes with active noise cancellation, but is the ANC on these earbuds enough to quiet your next commute or flight, and how does it stack up to other noise cancelling earbuds? According to Huawei, the FreeBuds Pro 4 should provide you with about 30 decibels of noise attenuation. Looking at our lab results, it looks like the earbuds do a pretty good job in cancelling outside noise, about what we'd expect for flagship earbuds. Suffice it to say, the ANC on the FreeBuds Pro 4 can go a long way in quieting loud environments, whether you're on a long flight on a loud plane, or commuting to and from work on a screechy SkyTrain or subway. When it comes to connection, the FreeBuds Pro 4 uses Bluetooth 5.2 to connect to your phone or other Bluetooth-enabled device. And as mentioned previously, because these earbuds come with Huawei Sound, you get access to additional features that Huawei claims will elevate your listening experience. For example, thanks to Huawei Sound, the FreeBuds Pro 4 lets you stream lossless audio over Bluetooth when paired to a compatible Huawei phone. This lets you take advantage of lossless audio files from streaming services like Tidal and can provide you with a better listening experience than earbuds like the AirPods Pro 2, which 
still use lossy Bluetooth codecs when paired to a phone. Now, for those with a non-Huawei Android device, the FreeBuds Pro 4 also supports the LDAC codec so that you can still enjoy high quality audio over Bluetooth. In terms of software, the FreeBuds Pro 4 comes with a plethora of features to customize the earbuds via the Huawei AI Life app. From here, you can manage connected devices, toggle between noise control options, toggle between the different HD spatial audio options, adjust the sound via EQ presets, or using the 10-band equalizer. These app features are pretty much in line with other flagship earbuds from Sony, Samsung, and Google, and leagues above basically what you'd get with Apple and their AirPods Pro 2, which to this day are still missing an equalizer function in the settings. Connection and app features aside, how's the battery life? Well, Huawei claims that you should get around six and a half hours of listening with ANSI off and about four and a half hours with ANSI enabled. Now in our standard battery test, the results were pretty bang on with Huawei's claims as our unit lasted in the labs for about four hours and 31 minutes with ANSI on. Now for reference, the AirPods Pro 2 lasted five hours and 43 minutes. So while the FreeBuds Pro 4 may not have the same battery life as the AirPods, it should still be more than enough for a couple days worth of commutes or even a quick flight from Vancouver to Vegas. Meanwhile, the charging case has more than enough juice to top up the earbuds between uses, pushing the total battery life up to 33 hours with ANC off. And finally, let's take a look at microphone quality. Now, according to Huawei, they've made some improvements when it comes to the microphone system of the FreeBuds Pro 4. And in our labs, we actually did notice that these earbuds do a really good job in rejecting wind noise. So this is extremely useful if you plan to be outside or you live in a windy city and you're just trying to take a call with a friend or coworker. In fact, to demonstrate the wind rejection performance of the FreeBuds Pro 4, here's a microphone sample we recorded into the Huawei Mate X6. And then we'll even play a comparison recording of the AirPods Pro 2 paired to my iPhone 15 Pro. Enjoy. Say it slowly, but make it ring clear. He said the same phrase 30 times. They sang the same tunes at each party. Yell and clap as the curtain slides back. She called his name many times. If you mumble, your speech will be lost. The music played on while they talked. The shaky barn fell with a loud crash. The mute muffled the high tones of the horn. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Say it slowly, but make it break. Phrase 30 times. They sang the same tune on the stage. Yell and clap as the curtain slides back. Hold his name many times. If you mumble, your speech will be lost. The music played on while they talked. The shaky barn fell with a loud crash. The mute muffled the high tones of the horn. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Now on the subject of noise rejection or similar, if you want to hear how the best noise canceling earbuds perform for yourself, then be sure to check out our simulations for the top 10 ANC earbuds right here. Thank you again so much to Huawei for partnering with us on this video to check out their latest earbuds. Until next time guys, happy listening.